So last night, we saw the Red Mirage play out. The scenario where Donald Trump would appear to be in the lead, but then as mail-in ballots come in and they are counted, that lead diminishes. And a couple of weeks ago, Bernie Sanders appeared on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, and he predicted all of this would happen with pinpoint accuracy. So I can't play the video clip for you because there's probably going to be some copyright issues, but here's the audio of Bernie Sanders basically saying exactly what happened. The election uh, is November 3rd, and it's been said that we won't know the results until days later. W when do you think we'll know the results? All right. Jimmy, you raise an important point, and I hope the American people understand it, because this is something I worry about. My view is every vote must be counted. For reasons which I don't have the time to get into tonight, you're going to have a situation, I suspect, in states like Pennsylvania, um, Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, other states, where they are going to be receiving huge amounts of mail-in ballots. And unlike states like Florida or Vermont, they're not being able, for bad reasons, to begin processing those ballots until, I don't know, election day or maybe when the polls close. That means you're going to have states dealing with perhaps millions of mail-in ballots. Here is my worry. What polls show and what studies have shown is that for whatever reason, Democrats are more likely to use mail-in ballots. Republicans are more likely to walk into polling booths on election day. It is likely that the first votes that will be counted will be those people who came in on election day, which will be Republican. And here is the fear, and I hope everybody hears that. It could well be, and you know, I don't know what's gonna happen, nobody does, but it could well be that at 10 o'clock on election night, Trump is winning in Michigan, He's winning in Pennsylvania. He's winning in Wisconsin. And he gets on the television. He says, thank you, Americans, for reelecting me. It's all over. Have a good day. But then the next day and the day following, all of those mail-in ballots start getting counted. And it turns out that Biden has won those states, at which point Trump says, see, I told you the whole thing was fraudulent. I told you those mail-in ballots were crooked. And I got, you know, we're not going to leave office. So that is a worry that I and, I and a lot of people have. So the results, you know, we don't know what's happened. Maybe sure. the results will be on our election day. So Bernie Sanders was accurate down to a T. And I'm not showing you this video to toot Bernie Sanders' horn and make it seem as if, you know, he's some psychic. Because really, the scenario that we all expected, even though it was kind of a more worst case scenario, it still played out exactly as we thought it would. Trump appeared to be in the lead, he declared victory, and then as the mail-in ballots come in, he's losing that lead because Democrats, for whatever reason, as Bernie Sanders pointed out, are more likely to vote by mail. Republicans, not so much. That's more explainable because Republicans have been told for months now by Donald Trump that vote by mail leads to fraud. So, of course, they're going to show up to vote in person, but Democrats not necessarily believing Donald Trump, probably worrying about the pandemic, not wanting to vote in person, they voted by mail. So we're seeing everything play out exactly as uh, we expected but i'm not showing you this to tell you how right bernie sanders was I i'm playing this for you because it's really important that we all get this on the record we show donald trump supporters right now who probably won't believe us but maybe some will that this is not fraud this is ex exactly what we expected this is not a nefarious ploy by democrats to steal this election using mail-in ballots that just inexplicably appear out of nowhere if Donald, if Joe Biden is down. If that were the case, wouldn't it be happening in Florida? Wouldn't it be happen, happening in states that he needed to win but didn't? So we have to show them that this is something that we expected based on data, not feelings, based on what voting habits are. Democrats, more likely to vote by mail. Republicans, not. Now, this varies depending on the state, depending on the demographic. But by and large, Democrats were more likely to vote by mail. So Donald Trump was going to use this to his advantage to delegitimize the results of this election. And knowing that Democrats more so would vote by mail, we saw what he did throughout the summer. His postmaster general, Louis DeJoy, crippled the U.S. Postal Service. And when... 
they were supposed to get at least 97% of ballots delivered on Tuesday. They only hit 93%. And now we're learning that 300,000 mail-in ballots are missing. So if there's any attempt to steal this election going on, it's not Joe Biden and the Democrats. It's Donald Trump who is using the institutional power that he has as an incumbent to do everything, to not only delegitimize the process, but use our government in his favor to win. So it's important that we show people that this is predicted. It's not some sudden plan to steal this election away from Donald Trump. If Donald Trump won legitimately, I have no doubt that Democrats and Democratic Party voters would accept the results. But because Donald Trump is a baby, because there are reports that he literally threw a temper tantrum as he saw the results come in, well, he uh, is going to bring the entire country down with him. Make sure that his voters, you know, uh, believe him and they cause chaos. Like, he, he wants to make sure that if he, if he loses this election, he gives us, you know, that one last fuck you. And look, he's not immediately out of office. It's going to be a long two months between now and January 21st when he leaves office if he does in fact lose. And uh, I promise you he's going to make it in, as insufferable as possible to punish us for not voting for him. Buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride, folks.